Farmers State Bank has been serving Lawrence County for over 100 years. Farmers State Bank knows the community and the people that live here with us. And we're here to help with all your banking needs. Whether it's personal or business account, mortgage or loans, we do it all with our knowledgeable and friendly staff. Dedication, trust, commitment, teamwork. That's banking at Farmers State Bank. So call or come by and see us today and see why banking is as easy as FSB. Farmers State Bank with locations in Dublin and Cadwell. Member FDIC and an equal housing lender. Twenty twenty two was another winning season at Dublin Chevrolet. Now we're gearing up for the new year. Whether it's a trailblazer or a truck or anything in between, our selection is growing every day. I love Dublin Chevrolet so much that I came back and bought another car. Eli sells cars well. Trey sells cars well at Dublin Chevrolet. And remember, go dogs. Tradition is important here in Dublin and Lawrence County, and we have the tradition of the St. Patrick's Festival. So go out and support each vendor at the St. Patrick's Festival. Also, tradition is important here at A Plus Flooring and Construction. We provide quality people with quality service. Come shop with us. We have tile, LVP, carpet, vinyl, metal roofs, as well as vinyl siding. So come shop with us at 371 Georgia Highway 338 or give us a call at 478-676-2662. Look forward to doing business with you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome out. And we are at dance practice today for the upcoming pageant here, one of the biggest events of the year here in Dublin, especially come around St. Patrick's time. We got Miss Melissa here from the Pilot Club. Miss Melissa, I know you're excited for this I'm Saturday. I'm very excited. And very let's excited. talk about it. I mean, it's one of the biggest events of the year and the Pilot Club took a big part in it. Yes. Um, the St. Patrick's Committee actually works with the Pilot Club. Um, well, they don't really work with us, but they support us a lot in um, the pageant and every year we put it on and we get a queen and she goes That's around it. and she shows Dublin what Miss St. Patrick's queen does. That's right, yeah, and I got here I got here late, but I heard your, t the tail end of your speech there about what it takes to be a queen. Tell our viewers, you know, what all comes with being the queen of this pageant. Well, you need to know Dublin. You need to not be shy. Right. You need to mingle, as Dublin likes to say, That's you right. know. Um, you need to get out there and you need to put that smile and face on and represent Dublin well. That's right. And now, Miss Melissa, there's a lot of uh, parts of this pageant, right? Of course, you got the traditional, you got this dance. What else is um, involved, I guess you could say, competition uh, um, with this pageant? Um, well, there's dance, and yeah. as I told the girls, um, we like the judges, like, and we, we want to encourage them to judge based on their personality right. because you know that's the main thing as far as being that queen is getting out there and having that personality to mingle and join in lots of fun the whole month of march right um there's also of course the beauty contest which they get to dress up and wear these beautiful gowns that they all have and uh tomorrow uh, saturday excuse me saturday there will be a tea that the girls will all attend okay. Um, and that's, I've always heard it's lots of fun. This will be my first year attending okay, the tea, gotcha. so I'm excited about that. Um, so just a lot, just a lot that For they sure. have to do. Right, yeah, Miss Melissa, we got all the girls here with us, and I, I mean, just from the looks of it, I bet they've formed a, a friendship. Would you say that happens? Absolutely, absolutely. For sure. Uh, yes. Yeah, that's a big part mm -hmm. of it. And now, of course, we talk about the Pilot Club. What else is the Pilot Club involved with St. Patrick's time? Well, basically, we just do all of the fun sure. St. Patrick yeah. stuff. Yeah, like we told them the Pilot Club will be at all of the functions. Um, of course, the Joint Civic Luncheon, the Breakfast, um, Mingle and Jingle, the Balloon Glow is one of mine and my family's favorite things to do. No doubt. Um, the Dog Festival, uh, the Paint in the Street, okay. um, yep. just, just a lot. And I mean, that starts in February. So there's a lot that a lot of the pilot members just love to participate in. No doubt. Hey, Miss Melissa, we thank you for hanging with us here at late after dance practice, but y'all stay with us because we're gonna interview these girls. Y'all keep on watching. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. And like I say, we were just wrapping up dance practice and we've got 
Miss Ellie Patlock here. And now tell, tell me about that dance, okay? Y'all been working hard at that dance, right? Yes, of course. It's a really fun one. Um, we started practicing last Wednesday and we finally perfected it and now we're ready for Saturday. That's right. That's right. And, you know, I was talking with Miss Melissa about, you know, the friendship you form with these girls. I, would you agree with that? I mean, yes. you got to, right? Yes, of course. Um, a lot of them, we got to do it together last year. And so it's been fun to get back together with them and do it again. Yeah, no doubt. And look, you got on this, this JB Justin Bieber shirt, Justice Tour. Did you go on that tour? I did with um, my brother, but he's... Mm -mm. So. Yeah, it was fun, for sure. So let's talk about this pageant, right? <laughs> if you win the pageant, you'll be representing Dublin, and you'll be, get to participate in a lot of events here for St. Patrick's. What would that mean to you? Um, it would mean a lot to me just because I've been coming to this pageant since I was, like, four years old, long as I can remember. I remember, like, all the queens. I just love this pageant. It's always been a lot to me, and I would love to be a queen. For sure, yeah. Now, talk about your time in pageants from, you, you talked about, you know, coming to this one when you were little, but you've been doing pageants your whole life. I, I mean, I guess, right? I don't know. But, you know, tell me about that. You've been doing pageants since you were really, you know, little to now. You know, what what do you love so much about pageants? Um, it's just, like I said earlier, about getting to be friends with all the girls, and then it's just fun. A little confidence boost to get up on stage and prance around in a pretty dress and get all dolled up. Yeah, that's it. That's it. And you'll be prancing this Saturday. And, you know, it takes a lot of practice, right? And, you know, what, what kind of practice have you done for this uh, pageant? Um, a lot. I'll just be in my room walking around, doing my walks, practicing questions. So, it's yeah, it's a lot of practice, but I think it's worth it in the end. Yeah, no doubt. Hey, Ellie Locke, she'll be here Saturday with the rest of these girls who are coming on just after her. JB super fan and she'll be in the pageant Saturday, Miss Ellie Locke. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we got Miss Riley Branham here. And Riley, where do you go to school? And first, let's introduce yourself. Okay, before we get into school, let's introduce yourself and tell us your family. So my name is Riley Branham. I go to East Lawrence High okay. School. I am 17 years old. My mom is Naomi Pope and Jeffrey Branham. I'm a cheerleader for my football team. Okay. And I'm involved in a lot of clubs. I work at the Exchange in downtown. Okay, I got you. Hey, you mentioned those clubs. What clubs are you involved in? So I'm a part of Interact. I'm a part of Spanish Honor Society. Okay. I'm a part of JKL, FCA, and I do LYL. It's not a club at the school, but it is an organization sure. in Lawrence County. Okay, I got you. So Riley, you're, you're all over the place. You're all these clubs. You're working at the exchange. And now you're doing the pageant. How are you able to fit the pageant in with all that? I have an amazing support group. A go. lot of my family knows how much this means to me and my boss, of course. So they have just given me the support that I've needed to do all of the events and practices. For sure. Riley, I, I assume this isn't your first pageant, right? It's not my first pageant. Pageants, um, they're my hobby, and I okay. absolutely love doing them. So most Saturdays I will be at a pageant competing. There you go. So, you know, what is it so that you love so much about pageants? I really and truly think my favorite part is the people that you meet along the way of doing pageants. Um, you get the best support group doing them, yeah. and you get to meet people that love the same thing as you. Yeah, for sure. Now, this one, I mean, it's a big pageant, right? I imagine one of the bigger ones you participate in, you, yes. you go to. Now, have, did you come, you know, we talked to Ellie, she came when she was little. Had, did you grow up coming to this one? Yes, so I have grown up coming to this one for a while. I've actually came to this pageant before I was in pageants myself. Okay. It has really been a dream of mine to come and watch my family and friends compete, and some of them even win the pageant. Yeah, there you go. So, Riley, I mean, what kind of practice, what kind of preparation goes into a pageant? So, I have been practicing since the night of last year okay, from this wow. pageant. I have practiced interview questions, you know, your walk. I've been right. practicing this dance heavily, mm -hmm. very heavily. Um, takes a lot of practice. I practice about once or twice a week. For sure. Riley, you mentioned your support system earlier. Let, let, let's go back to them. I mean, you really couldn't do it without your parents. Let, let's shout them out. So I have my amazing mom, Naomi Pope. She is truly my biggest supporter. And then I have my Nana, of course. She alters all okay. of my dresses there and gowns. Go. I have my boyfriend's mom. She does my hair. And her family is truly a biggest support. They come to all of my pageants and support me through those. Yeah, Riley, are they going to be out here cheering you on Saturday? They will be out here cheering me on Saturday. There you go. Hey, we're going to need y'all to come cheer Riley on as well. Come cheer for all of these girls Saturday yes. for the St. Patrick's pageant. Y'all stay tuned. We're going to bring some more on.
Hey, I got bad reception, but the boys did such a great job letting our friends know about the chip shortage and ordering their vehicles. Now I just need the vehicles to come in. I don't want to end up with pie in my face. I want pie in my face. Like Lost them. Call, wow, look at all the new vehicles. Ordering works after all. You got pie now. Others call you customers. We call you friends. That's Dublin Ford Lincoln. Hi, this is Meg Greer Evans with Middle Georgia Estate Planning. I wanted to let everybody know that Warren Greer Law is now Middle Georgia Estate Planning. We wanted to let our clients know exactly what specialized services we can offer. We can help you with the preparation of a will or a trust, power of attorney, or health care directive. We also specialize in elder law and can assist you with guardianships and conservatorships, as well as the issues facing elderly as they go into long-term care, such as Medicaid planning or VA aid and attendance planning. If you have any questions or would like to learn more, give us a call at 478-272-272. 2885. Hi, I'm Tom Domney, Dublin Wood Nelson Company. We're a full service wholesaler specializing in plumbing, irrigation, and industrial products. We are committed to building long term relationships with our customers by earning your business every day. With a staff that collectively offers more than 50 years of expertise, our team knows your industry. We're able to answer your questions and are ready to help you get the parts and equipment you need. At Dublin Wood Nelson, our goal is long-term success of your business. We achieved that goal with a simple commitment, doing things right one customer at a time. Our showroom is complete with the latest styles and fixtures. Stop by and see us at 507 Airport Road or give us a call at 478-272-3585 at Dublin Wood Nelson. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got another contestant here, Miss Allie Grace Johnson, and I'll let you introduce your family, and where do you go to school? Um, my name is Allie Grace Johnson, and I'm a junior at East Lawrence High School. I'm 17 years old. I play softball for the high school. Okay. I'm involved in many clubs. Um, I enjoy singing at the Praise and Worship Band at my church, and I really just love spending time with my family and friends. My mom's name is Tori Powell. Um, and she's really my biggest supporter, and I have a five-year-old brother whose name is Troy. Okay, there you go. Allie Grace, where are you singing at a church? What church? Um, I go to Bethlehem Baptist Church in East Dublin. Okay, there you go. Shout out there. So, look, you're, you're very involved in the community, of course. So, Dublin, I mean, it's very special to you, right? Talk yes, about, you know, just, just the city of Dublin. It's got to mean a lot to you. Yes, I love Dublin. It's such a place of community. Everyone here is so welcoming and so heartwarming. Um, I just love experiencing everything, mingling with everyone, right. all, especially at all of St. Patrick events. It's always a good time. You can always expect a good time there. Yeah, no doubt. Such a tight community. And obviously you love it, right? Yes. If you're out here participating in the St. Patrick's pageant and you know, Allie Grace, a lot would come with the win in that. Are you prepared to take on, you know, all the events you're going to have to attend if you win this pageant? Of course. Fortunately, I do have a great support system, but my biggest supporter is God. I really rely on him right. so much. I'm so thankful for the life that he's given me and this opportunity to compete in this pageant with these lovely ladies here, That's my sweet. friends that I've made during this time. So I'm really excited. It has been a little stressful, but yeah. You know, stress comes with everything you want to achieve in life. So. That's right. That's right. How have you been able to fit in preparing for this pageant with everything else you're involved in here in the community? Well, I've been able to fit it in as much as I can. I do have school. I have college. Um, I go to college at Middle Georgia. Yep. I'm a dual enrollment student. And so I just fit in where I can. I work at Wren's Tees off the bypass. Okay, gotcha. Um, and my boss is very lenient. My parents are very helpful. I can rely on them for anything. And I really just um, try my hardest to fit everything where I can. Gotcha. Allie Grace, I know you participated in the pageant last year. So, I mean, you, you got a love for pageants, right? Let's talk about that. How long have you been participating in pageants? I've been participating in pageants for as long as I can remember. Um, I, of course, I go to East Lawrence and I did the yeah. East Lawrence pageant every single year. There you go. I did it in Miss Emerald City every year. I did as many as I possibly could. And growing up, I kind of grew out of it a little bit, but I've always loved this pageant. And so um, I re kind of rekindled my love for pageants this past year when I competed. So. For sure. You know, Allie Grace, I, I imagine growing up, like, you know, this is the big one, right? It would be a dream to win it. What would it mean to you if you were able to win this pageant? It would mean so much. Um, my grandpa was at my house the other day, 
And uh, my mom told him, hey, look out for her headshot in the newspaper. There you go. And he said, her Mimi would be so proud if she was here. And um, that's something I think about every day. So winning this will be a big thing because she also loved this pageant too. So I just want to make her proud also. For sure, yeah. You got a lot of people cheering you on. And we're going to all be cheering her on. Y'all come out, support all these girls, support Allie Grace this upcoming Saturday. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We got Miss Caitlin Russell with us. And Caitlin, we got a big pageant coming up Saturday. Sure Miss St. Patrick's. Are you ready? Are you prepared for I it? I am excited and I am prepared. It has taken a lot to get here. And, you know, I've been putting in practice, well, since the day of last year. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm excited. For sure, yeah. And look, all these girls are practicing real hard, so we got to come out and support them. And Caitlin, I see you all over the community. I've seen you working with Final Touch. I've yes. seen you, you know, way back in December, you were working on the Nutcracker. Or, I do. I mean, so you're all over the place. What else are you involved I in? I am. Well, actually, I'm a college student at OFTC okay. right okay, now. I am training to be a licensed cosmetologist. Okay. I do work for Final Touch. I'm an assistant. I help, you know, pose the kids, help any parents with any information that they need, you know, just assist where I best can. And then, you know, I also dance here in the community. And I have been participating in the Dublin Nutcracker mm, probably since I was in like the fourth grade. Okay. So, yes, you yeah. see me everywhere. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, you're all over the place. And so now, cosmetology, let's go back there, okay? Yes. What, what got you into that? Okay. So, you know, I have naturally curly hair, okay. and that's not something that is mostly styled nowadays, and, you know, it's hard to find good products for that. And so I decided that I wanted to take on cosmetology to be able to, you know, not only be able to help with my hair, but to also help with little girls who have hair like me. Yeah, there you go. That's, that's awesome right there, looking out, for, looking out for little girls like you, Caitlin. <laughs> and now, so you talked about, you know, your community involvement. We talked about your community involvement. You clearly have a love for the community, right? <laughs> I do, I do. Talk about, you know, just just the love you have for Dublin here. I do have a love for Dublin. You know, I was born and raised here. You know, I've always gone to school here. I love that we have such a tight-knit community. Everybody's, yeah. you know, nice. We have so many, like, community, like, outreach programs and things like that. And then we do a lot of these different festivals, and they're always nice to attend. Everybody's just so nice, and it's just a great thing to be. For sure. Look, Caitlin, you, this is a big auditorium, auditorium, right? And you know, um, it's going to be filled. It's going to be filled up Saturday. Are you ready for it? Are you ready I for the ready. crowd? Are you a little bit nervous? Oh, uh, just a little bit. But with being a dancer for so long and Nutcracker, and then competing in other pageants throughout my entire life, you know, the crowd doesn't necessarily bother me sure. that much. <laughs> sure. But I am a little smidge bit nervous. But you know, with the girls, you know. I'm prepared. That's right. I'm ready. Yeah. It, it's a good amount of nervous. You I'm know, really you got to have a little you gotta bit. Got to have of a little it. bit, or you never like. You'll never know. That's right. Yeah, you got to have a little bit of it for sure. Now, Caitlin, pageant coming up. What would it mean to you if you were able to win the Miss St. Patrick's pageant? It would mean a great deal for me. You know, I've been in and out of pageants throughout my whole entire life. You know, you win some, you lose some. But to be able to win the Miss St. Patrick's scholarships and to be able to go around with the pilot club and, you know, do the festivals and things throughout the St. Patrick's would be really amazing. For sure. Now, Caitlin, look, the, the St. Patrick's pageant, that really kicks everything off, right? It it's going to be from the end of February all the way through March. What, what's your favorite event on the St. Patrick's calendar? Um, I think my favorite event would either be the balloons or the um, breakfast. Sure. Yeah, I mean, yeah, who doesn't love the pancake breakfast? And, <laughs> and I mean, to get out there to the balloons for sure. Hey, this is Miss Caitlin. Y'all come root her on Saturday. <laughs> yes, we'll see you there. Wayne Kemp's Dublin Auto Sales reminds you to put your tax return to work today. If you're in the market for affordable transportation, come on down and see Wayne Kemp at Dublin Auto Sales. Getting to work, school, or around town every day requires dependable transportation, and that's what you'll find at Wayne Kemp's Dublin Auto Sales. So put that tax return to work for you this year. We offer bank rate and in-house financing, so credit is never a problem. Come in today and see TJ, Trey, Alan, Britt, or any of the friendly staff at Wayne Kemp's Dublin Auto Sales, where good deals and good people meet. Call 478-275-2010, log on to DublinAutoSalesGA.com, or stop by and see us at 606 East Jackson Street in Dublin. That's Wayne Kemp's Dublin Auto Sales. 
Everyone at Allen's Heating and Cooling reminds you to get out and enjoy all the activities of the 58th Annual St. Patrick's Festival. Allen's Heating and Cooling is your licensed Domana equipment dealer. Trust Allen's Heating and Cooling to install and service your heating and air conditioning unit. Allen services all brands, and with the purchase of a new unit, Amana offers a lifetime compressor warranty. Sean Clark or any of his friendly staff can help you today at Allen's Heating and Cooling. Your Amana dealer. Amana, last and last and last. Home is where the heart is, and Century 21 Dirt and Cornegie wants to match your heart's desire with the perfect home. Let our realtors at Century 21 help find your new home. Realtors Brian Howell, Charlene Lamp, Adam White, David Deeds, Jennifer Bradley, Mark Bateman, Jay Brantley, Jim Jarrett, Raina Dubberly, Yvonne Robertson, and broker George Durden will go to work to fill your heart's desire in a new home. So call Century 21 Durden Cordier at 478-275-1535. Stop by 1700 Veterans Boulevard in Dublin or log on to c21dublin.com for more information. Century 21 Durden Cordier, filling your heart's desire in a new home. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now we've got Miss Riley Cowan. Now, Riley, where do you go to school? And tell us about your family. All right, well, as he said, my name is Riley Cowan, and I'm a sophomore at East Lawrence High School. My parents are Chad and Jessica Cowan, and I have a little sister named Sophia. For sure. Now, Riley, we talked about, with, with the other girls, about their support system. I imagine it's going to be the same for you with your family. Oh, absolutely. Um, I have my parents and my sister that are always at every event I'm at. And I also have my grandma, and I call her Nanny. And I also have a um, good amount of aunt and uncles that like to come okay. to my events. There you go. I'm sure they'll be out here loud, rambunctious Saturday, oh, rooting you on. Now, Riley, we, uh, you mentioned East Lawrence. Well, what else are you involved in there at the school? I am a competition and football cheerleader. Okay. And I'm also involved in clubs such as FFA, JKL, FCA, and Beta Club. Okay, gotcha. Now, Riley, big pageant, Miss St. Patrick's. What would it mean to you to be able to represent, really, the whole city of Dublin if you win this pageant? It would mean a whole lot to me. I mean, this pageant is basically the Miss America of Dublin. Sure. So, like, who wouldn't want to be the Miss America of Dublin? Oh, like, yeah. it's been my goal for a long time, and I feel like it'd be a great goal to achieve. For sure, yeah, I'm right there with you. Now, Riley, let's, let's uh, you know, your pageant timeline. When did you start out with pageants up until now? I started with pageants since, I can't even remember, since I had to have my mom walk on stage with me. Okay. Um, I took a break with them for a while because I was a dancer, so my schedule was really busy sure. but I started back up whenever I stopped dancing and started cheering and had a ball I mean yeah, got you so what got it what got you back to pageants you know you talk about taking that break for dance but what got you back to them I just missed feeling confident in myself and just getting dolled up and having a good time for sure let's talk about that confidence I mean it does it really does bring some confidence what what about pageants brings that confidence to you I feel like just seeing yourself in a different setting rather than going to school wearing t-shirt and leggings. Sure. You get to see yourself with beautiful hair and makeup and in a beautiful gown and you just feel beautiful. Yeah, I got you. Now you got hair and makeup. You mentioned that. I'm sure somebody's going to be doing your hair and makeup, right? Uh, who's doing that for you? Heidi Thompson will okay. be doing my hair and Madison Kennedy will be doing my makeup. They both work for my mom at Hair Gypsy Salon. Okay, there you go. Shout out Heidi Thompson. She might be pretty good at it. I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, Riley, um, Miss St. Patrick's, did you grow up coming to this pageant? I did, yes. Okay, so I mean, I'm sure it, it's, it's going to be a dream for you if you can win this thing. Saturday. Oh, absolutely. For sure. Now, St. Patrick's calendar is loaded and it really gets kicked off with this, uh, with this pageant coming up Saturday. But, Riley, so many events. If you had to pick a favorite, what would it be? Other than this pageant, I would definitely say the parade because I enjoy, like, if, if I'm not in it, I enjoy seeing all the people that I know, like different family members and friends, and just getting to see all the different, like, organizations and just businesses in Dublin all joined together. Yeah, no doubt. Riley, we'll be rooting you on Saturday. Thank you for talking with us right here on TV35. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. And we've got our last contestant, Miss Brittany Jr. And, I mean, Brittany, we got a big pageant coming up. Are you ready for this thing Saturday? Yes, I am. No doubt about it. Now, Brittany, let's talk about your family as well as where you're going to school. Um, I'm Brittany Jr., and I go to Dublin High School, and I'm a senior. I'm a part of the cheer team, tennis team, and many other clubs. Okay. Um, my parents are Ryan and Carolyn Jr. Gotcha. I have two sisters, two brothers, and a very 
energetic nephew. There you go. There you go. Brittany, you're a senior at Dublin. You know, jumping ahead here, you know, senior. W what's your plans after you leave Dublin High? Um, I want to go to college to be a nurse. Okay. Just like my mom and help others within the community. Gotcha. Yeah, there you go. And you mentioned that community. You got to have a love for Dublin. I mean, it, it's your, your Dublin High School right here in Dublin, and now you're in the Miss St. Patrick's pageant. Let's talk about the, the, the community of Dublin. Um, it's real supportive, and since you've grown up here, you know many people that will know you, and they're real supportive, and for they're sure. like family. No doubt, no doubt. Now, Brittany, um, this pageant, how long have you been doing pageants? Um, this is my first year back. I used to do them when I was small, but then I got into cheer and had to take a break. Okay, I got you. So walk me through deciding to do this pageant, right? I'm sure that was a big decision for you. Um, since I've been during cheer, I saw my niece be in a pageant like a few months ago, and then I decided I wanted to be in it before I graduated. Yeah, for sure. So, Brittany, I mean, if you win this thing, a lot of responsibility comes with it. Are you, are you ready to take on that responsibility? It'll be a big month for you if you're able to win yes, it. Yes, I am. For sure. And look, I, what's your favorite event? Because if, if you're um, if you're Miss St. Patrick's, you're going to be going to a lot of events and participating in a lot of events. What would be your favorite event to get to participate in? Um, I think the Pancake Supper. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, who, who doesn't love it? Now, Brittany, are you going to have a big fan base here Saturday with you? Yes. Let, let's talk. You, we mentioned some of those people, but who else is going to be here with you? Um, many of my friends will be out of town, but my most supportive is my teacher, Dr. Yeah. Heather Hartley. Okay. She always pushes me to the limit, and she's my biggest support. Yeah, for sure. Now, Brittany, I mean, your first pageant in a while, right? Are, are you a little bit nervous to get back on that stage? Yes. Talk about that. <laughs> Um, I'm a little shy, but doing cheer has gotten me out of my comfort zone a little. Yeah, exactly. but it still will take a little for time. Sure. For sure, hey, that's all right. And now, these other girls, a few girls, you know, they mentioned confidence it brings them. Mm -hmm. Would you agree with that? Pageants can bring yes, you some sir. confidence. Talk about that. How you get on that stage and it just, it, you know, it brings you that confidence. Um, I just think about whatever helps me get through life without being shy, and just make it work. That's right. And Miss Brittany will be in action Saturday, as well as all these other girls. So come on out. We are kicking off the St. Patrick's events here in Dublin. It's going to be the end of February all the way through March, and we're starting with this pageant. It's going to be at Dublin High School right here in this beautiful auditorium. Shout out Dublin High for uh, taking on the St. Patrick's pageant here, and it'll be 6.30 in the Dublin High School auditorium. Come on out and support these girls. Since 1965, our family has proudly provided physical, occupational, and speech therapy to Dublin, Lawrence County, and surrounding areas. Currently offering physical and occupational therapies, our mission is to work with patients and their families to reach an optimum level of independence. Whether post-sports injury, post-surgery, post-stroke, or just general wear and tear from everyday living, we strive to help you reach your goals and return to what you love doing. Remember, where you go for physical and occupational therapy is your choice. So, when your doctor prescribes it, choose Bass. Hi, I'm Perry Williamson, and we've been baking here at Williamson's Bakery since 1927. In 1965, my grandfather, Merle Williamson, hung our name on this bakery. Ever since then, people have been stopping in for the Williamson's tradition. We invite you to do the same here at 1634 Veterans Boulevard, or catch us on Facebook, or just come get you some.